Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadef. So, I am doing the next two parts of Tangle Root this time. I will be doing these on hard since uh, the first of these two has uh, a couple of traps that you have to go through, and the second has Whisper Doom, who is very scary. The hobgoblins here do not seem hostile. In fact, their chief beckons you closer. As with the uh, first two quests in this chain, I'm worried about running into clerics, so I won't, um, I won't be making much use of my undead forms. Okay. You have found the mouth of Splinter Skull. The shouts of hobgoblins echo from within. Yep, I'm quite happy to get these two done on hard. I uh, may well never come back and do these elites. It depends whether I end up doing a rerun through the chain. These are also quite tough quests to do on Elite, especially if you don't have a good spot. The spot helps a great deal in here, being able to uh, see the uh, see the hobgoblins before they get right up to you. Right, I'll let my skeleton pick a fight with the users. I don't know if my skeleton's weapon can break. I suppose, um... I suppose they might have coded that into the game, but it seems unlikely. I'll go for, uh, unlike the first two runs through here, where I did elite, but did the minimum amount to finish the quest, I will, uh, I will actually try and complete these with all the bonuses. Ah yes, being able to see the hobgoblins helps a lot. Hey, I charmed that guy, but he still summoned reinforcements. Yes, that part was much easier than doing it uh, Elite Level 3. Ah, named Spider. I was still playing around with the... the uh, Necromantic SLAs. Interesting. Different greatsword, not as good as I'm using. Alright. I'm still looking for good melee weapons. I'm not generally a, very keen on the uh, the weapons with on critical effects, like the one I'm using here, since I never think those hit off enough to be anywhere near as good as they sound from the description. This is still a lot better than I was using all the way up to level 6, uh, this sword, but uh, we're still looking for something better.
Okay. Yeah, I've been playing around with the Necromancy SLAs, using them quite heavily in the last few quests, and I think they're not really that useful at this level. I think, um, they might be good later on once the damage is uncapped, but right now they don't seem... they don't really seem worth the casting time. Maybe if I went into a quest where I needed a lot of cheap range damage, or... Well, actually, they're kind of expensive range damage, but they're unlimited, since they are fueled from hit points, so I can just bring healing potions. Um, unlike all of my other range damage, which is spells where the potions can't be bought. Um, obviously, permanent rules, so I'm not allowed to use DDO store mana potions. was a bit laggy there. Alright. Yes, right now their damage, the SLA damage is much less than Nyx, albeit more reliable than Nyx. The roster is so important, and the uh, tactician was checking it against the guys here. I said the troop roster isn't very important anymore, since I uh, I seem to be thinning out the uh, troops on the roster very quickly. Scorpion fight. Much easier on hard than on the elite runs I was doing for the first two parts. from the loot. Yeah, I think the Necro SLAs might be great at higher levels, because the, the damage I think is uncapped, whereas my level 1 spells are, are capped at... usually they do extra damage per caster level up to caster level 5. So the SLAs might be useful later on, although later on of course I'll have a lot more spells generally, and more spell points, so they, uh, they might not be really necessary at high levels, but they, they might be useful at high levels. Uh, whereas right now they uh, aren't really worth the time, I think. Especially in quests where I can't go into my undead forms. So the uh, I don't particularly want to have to drink lots of healing potions running around here, so I'm not using the SLAs very much. Yeah. <sighs> 
Pero nunca así. Alright, already starting to rack up breakable bonuses here. On to the main room. Charm is a hugely effective spell for fights like that. Lightning traps. I thought they were dart traps. They very rarely come in here with the traps on. Alright, I did that for next time. The dart traps must be um, somewhere else in the chain. Alright, everything broken, onwards. So this might be the last stuff I do at level, at level 6. I'm uh, thinking of leveling up quite soon. The air smells foul here. The hobgoblin shouting orders. Some tacticians may be in these cabins. the uh, fun thing of playing a wizard, the fights get uh, very tactical. You have lots of choices of how to use charm, web, you can um, take all, almost all the danger out of some of the fights that way. You miss it? Free game breaking or near game breaking things available to you. You have the necro forms where you're pretty hard to defeat um, normally, although sometimes they're not so good. You've got charm which can turn some fights completely around, basically let the enemies fight for you. And you have um, web which can pretty much knock out a lot of um, enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Hobgoblin tactician barks orders to his men from a sheet of papers. Seeing you, he stows them away and attacks.
Alright, so that's the orders. Just the map to do. to be locked, but also barred on the other side. It cannot be opened now. Alright, I think I will do this circuit around the outside first. There's not really any reason to... Uh, not really any reason to go up there now and then have to go back to pick up the final item. came from? Looks like not. I should be able to get to Conquest here if I uh, clean out all of the spider caves, I think. Usually some wags down here. I think I'll leave them to fight it out up there. No doubt I'll have lots of them running around to greet me though. Right, that's on sort. Now things get a little more interesting because there's lots of enemies around here. Um, in places they wouldn't normally be. I thought I had a charmed guy down here, oh yes. Time to go up through the trap and get the final 
the final thing, the patrol map. Hopefully I get conquest on the uh, last few enemies. They managed to avoid setting the traps up, that's a shame. Although, not essential to my plans, so... I guess if you wanted to be really clever with this quest, you could do a delete and rely on using charm to bring the bring that final boss down past the traps. But that would be... I think that would kind of suck for the videos, because I'd probably have to try it several times to get it to work. So that probably wouldn't be so much fun. Time to get my hit points up for doing the trap here. Looks up from studying a map of Tanglewood, sees you, and draws his yeah, sword. Yeah. 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 I was hoping I might get conquest. I think I've killed everything though, so I'm not going to search around anymore. Goblins here do not seem hostile. In fact, their chief beckons you closer. Alright, time for Whisper Doom. Skeleton do the work of killing these guys, of course, since I don't want to buff. The skeleton you have found the mouth of Splinter Skull. The shouts of hobgoblins echo from within. I was griping a bit about the skeleton at uh, the previous level, but he's actually been more useful again uh, in the hobgoblin content and in some of the other level um, four stuff.
So, perhaps I was being too harsh before. Well, this quest I'm doing on hard because Whisper Doom is just scary. Even in a group, Whisper Doom is uh, fairly bad, but solo, I think the Foul risk of being... spider hisses at you. You have stumbled across one of Whisper Doom's daughters. The risk of being wet in the uh, fight there is too high. And she does reasonable damage as well, as I recall, on Elite. Whereas on Hard, I think, even if I do get webbed, my... Uh, my self-healing from the Necro Aura should keep me up okay. with my auto-targeting skeleton. Stop it. Oh, maybe the auto-targeting just sucks today. nice things about doing solo is I tend to do the uh, quests from Tangle Roots at each level as appropriate. So I spread the quests out over a very long time. Which I think is the best way to uh, play this one. It doesn't work for groups, but solo works nicely since the uh, quests do get just a little repetitive. If you really want once. Done individually, that's less of an issue.
so many clerics. I sure wouldn't want to be in here on um, in undead form, like vampire form particularly. Vampire form in here would be a death trap. Yeah. Right, one side cleared. That guy died without me even attacking him when I unchowned him. Okay, scorpions again. So glad that web stops them burrowing. Makes them less of a hassle to fight. I think that's a spell I already have. Is he? Alright, then we need to shrine, so on to the main fight. Again, I will uh, fall back outside the room as usual. And after charming some guys. <laughs> Charms I didn't really need to fall back, which is nice. It is uh, sort of strange when playing a caster, that, uh, especially a wizard, I guess that some fights are easier if there are more enemies in them. Uh, having a few enemies to charm makes that a lot easier, whereas fighting against a single strong enemy
can be much more difficult. No, I need to roll higher than a one, preferably. So plus thirteen is not bad as a uh, as an unlock skill. Deadly dodge the damage that time. I should really have parked my uh, skeleton outside, I suppose. The stench of the spider tunnels is stronger than before. Whatever dwells here now must be huge. The web and charm, it makes these fights a whole lot easier. Slayer is hardly even hardly even injured. All right, I will do a circuit clearing first, and then shrine, and then do whisper doom. I particularly want the shrine clear, as that's usually the spot that we retreat to after fighting her. Daughter is actually up past the trap. I'd forgotten that. Which is fine, I can set the uh, run through the trap again. I think I will try to do what I did last time, though. Charm all the guys up there. This door appears not only to be locked, but also barred on the other side. It cannot be opened now. That's it, there is a chest up there, so I probably want to go up there anyway. Scout down here again, I assume. Whoa, a bit shorter on spell points than I realized. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be charming the guys above without spell points. I guess I am shrining now. Uh, I suppose uh, Whisperdoom might be by the shrine. Sorry, the Whisperdoom's daughter might be by the shrine here. Expecting those guys to come down.
So is it just those two guys left up there? I guess if anything else was left, it would be involved in the fight here. Spadoom's daughter must be down here. Um, it seems likely if it was up there, it would have been involved in that fight. have been slain. I made a bit of a meal of that fight. Okay, I have Vandal. Why don't I have Ransack? I don't think I missed anything. Maybe I will get it on the... Uh, of course, Whisperdeem's eggs might count as breakables. That could be it. The bilious stench is stronger down this tunnel. And you hear a ponderous bulk shifting in the caves beyond. Yep, here the trouble begins. <laughs> I think I want undead form in here. We have the self healing. And hopefully that is uh, plenty. I don't think she'll manage to web me long enough to be a problem. And hopefully the uh, skeleton summons distracts her. The spider in this cave is huge and terrible, surrounded by gleaming egg sacs. Behold, Whisper Doom and her clutch. Time to get out of here. Sorry, Skeletal Knight, I think you're going to have to be bait for a minute. In fact, since she's pursuing, 
I need teleskeletal knight to stay behind. Okay, clean getaway. Thanks for watching. Actually, it occurs to me I still have a few explorers to get out here, so let's clear those up while we're here. Might as well check the uh, last rare while I'm over here. for the Ogre Mage, if he happens to be in. Thanks for watching.